<laughs> well, let's go with Gabe in Missouri, and then after Gabe, we'll take a religious caller. Gabe, what did you want to hey, talk how's about? It going, guys? Hey, do, doing well. Yeah. Thanks for calling. Caffeine's kicking in. I'm excited. <laughs> what did you want to talk about? I had a question on the uh, application of Pascal's wager. Oh, good. That actually, just as a tie in, I totally screwed up a few minutes ago. Tukokwe is U2, which is the argument from uh, hypocrisy. Uh, uh, that is not No True Scotsman. No True Scotsman is ad hoc. And I got called out in the comments because you guys are freaking awesome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Sorry. So you wanted to talk about Pascal's Wager. What about Pascal's Wager? Well, a while back, um, I was just discussing with my mom um, about climate change and um, kind of, I guess kind of the opposition that we're seeing. Mm-hmm. Um, and she, she posed a question. She said, don't they want to live, uh, as if climate change is caused by humans just in case. And I kind of, you know, knee jerk reaction kind of just said, oh, that's Pascal's wager. But I, I thought about it and I wasn't sure if that was, if that's an automatic fallacy or if it's valid sometimes or how to determine Sure, that's that's a new application of Pascal's wager, and I'm 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 with you, Gabe. I wouldn't have thought that there would have been a positive application of that because, you know, what? How do you know what's the if you're if you're just going to concede and say, well, I'm going to pretend to believe this? Uh, you know, that's never usually good. But what a what a positive spin on it. We may as well, even if we even if we have doubts. If, if a person has doubts that what we are doing is contributing to global warming or to global climate change, why not? We, we already know we're having an impact. I mean, I don't think even the, even the climate science deniers would deny that we have an impact. And so why not just, okay, let's just not argue about, about that and let's just live our lives and work our society as if it is contributing. Eh, that's really interesting. I haven't ever heard a, a positive spin on that. See that I, I I disagree with you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, go for it. Sure. So um, something can be incidentally true and fallacious. So um, I know uh, Gail that you had cereal this morning because you're wearing a blue shirt. Um, if you had cereal this morning and you're wearing a blue shirt, that those don't necessarily lead to each other, okay. right? So something can accidentally be true, which means that in this case, if we're talking about um, Pascal's wager, pretending just because we don't have an impact on the truth value of it. The argument itself is not one that's going to guide people to what is true. And so while it can be useful and advantageous, what you said after that, right, the justification, the education, the science, the the studies, all of those things are are you know, positive evidence toward the assertion that global climate change. Also, is a good point. Uh, wh- what do you think, Gabe? Oh, I fully believe that humans are causing climate change, but um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I was, um, she kind of caught me uh, off um, off guard as well. Um, what? Well, and we we ha- we we foundationally always want to know as much, many true things as we can, I think is the expression, as, as often as we can. And you don't course, yeah. want to teach someone bad habits. In other words, if what you're talking about is someone who's um, politically, let's just say politically in the middle, and they, and they uh, don't really accept that it's man-made climate change, but they don't entirely reject it, why don't we implement policies that continue to protect the planet? I, I, I get it, and that would be in our favor, and let's do that. And yet, at the same time, I think Eric's right. I think if it opens the door. If we're not going to use logic and reason and truth every time, mm-hmm. and we're just going to rely on... Because we'd love to have people be more concerned about the planet. And so maybe they're... Maybe having them lean into, well, I'm not so sure, but let's just act as if it is. Yeah, probably not good practice. So, yeah, I've come full cycle. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I love about skepticism yeah. is, is that you can take that and you good can go, Good conversation. You know yeah, good I'm take good thought, place. Gabe. But uh, thank you for calling in, man. This was good. Uh, absolutely. I just have one other uh, kind of sorry, off-topic question. Sure. Um, we can try and answer it. What's up? <laughs> uh, who did the, uh, the intro song for your show? That guitar work is awesome. Right? So believe it or not, um, Mark, we, 
So unlike the atheist experience and the awesome call waiting music for the Recovering from Religion Foundation hotline project, um, one eight four. I doubt it. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> There's a plug. Um, Mark, our producer, went in and looked up uh, royalty free music and uh, plugged that out of the list that he found. Um, I'm sure Mark can help us pull it up. I don't have that information on me right now. Yeah, Mark, <laughs> I, so he just sure. chimed in my ears like, I don't got that right now. But, uh, <laughs> but we can take a peek. But I, I mean, if, if you're looking for it, definitely check out royalty free music because it's in there somewhere. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Absolutely. Take care, brother. You too. Thanks.